two Christian artists fighting for their faith. Now they may have to go to jail because they will apparently not make artwork for same-sex weddings. Those artists join us live next. Two Christian artists in Arizona could face jail time if they refuse to make custom artwork for same-sex weddings. The business owners are challenging a local anti-discrimination ordinance that they say goes against their religious values. The Arizona Supreme Court just announced it will hear their case in January. Excuse me. Joining me now are artists and co-owners of Brush and Nib Studio, Joanna Duca and Brianna Koski, along with their lawyer from the Alliance Defending Freedom, Kristen Wagner, who also represented the Kate Baker lawyer. She was the Kate Baker lawyer in uh, Colorado. Thank you all for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Okay, Joanna and Brianna, I'll start with you guys. You started this company. One does the artwork, one is the calligrapher, and uh, you produce artwork for, for weddings. And you heard about this law, and this is all preemptive, right? You don't have a, you didn't have someone who is same-sex couple come to you and say, well, you do this for our wedding. You just knew that that's a possibility and you wanted to, to challenge this, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, we wanted to create consistently with who we are, and so we decided to bring this case. Why was that so important to you? Um, it was important because we have a love and a passion for art and weddings and there's such a beautiful picture in marriage of Christ and his love for the church. And you know, we were told growing up that we could live authentically to who we are and we could be whatever we wanted to be. So that's what we were trying to do and we brought this case because we believe that artists should be able to be free to create in accordance with their beliefs. And so, Ainsley, we, we got to remember that in terms of pre-enforcement challenges, this has been used in, civil, in the civil rights era many, many times because Americans shouldn't have to wait to be thrown in jail before they can challenge an unjust law. So what happened, Kristen? Tell me what happened next. You went to the state court? We did. We filed in state court challenging Phoenix's ordinance. It actually threatens to put them in jail for six months for every day they violate this ordinance. Six months as well as onerous civil penalties. So they really had no choice but to file this action um, rather than wait and have to fight it from jail. Okay, so you lost at the, the state level and now it's going to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court's agreed to hear it in January. What can we expect then? I'm hoping that we can expect the court to reverse the lower court because what's at issue here is whether artists and other Americans can be banished from the marketplace just because they disagree with the government's view. And it really transcends the marriage issue. It's any view. Artists cannot be coerced to express messages that violate their core convictions, no matter what side of the debate they're on. The attorney, Eric Frazier, who is representing Phoenix, he says they want the court system, talking about you guys, they want the court system to give them a blank check to refuse service to any same-sex couple that is requesting custom wedding products. There is no principled way to distinguish between discrimination on the basis on sexual orientation versus discrimination on other bases, such as race or even religion. Do you understand what he is saying? Do you understand the other side? Well, absolutely, we understand it, and it's just flat wrong. If the free speech guarantees mean anything, they protect the author's pen and the painter's brush. And this old, tired analogy to race is just a bankrupt analogy that the Supreme Court has rejected not once, but twice in the Obergefell same-sex marriage decision as well as in the Masterpiece Cake Shop decision. All right. They serve everyone. They don't express all messages, and that's critical distinction. Brianna and Joanna, this is so important to you. You're willing to go to jail for this if you lose? Um, well, we're bringing this case so that we don't have to go to jail because we believe that artists should be free to create without threat of punishment by the government. So we do not want that to happen. That's why we're here. What if you lose and, and someone asks you or you have to, you're thrown in jail? We'll have to discuss that with our, with our attorneys at that time. But they won't violate their conscience. So they may have to shutter their doors and, and artists shouldn't have to give up their constitutional rights to make a living. Many Christians uh, think what you're doing is admirable. I know or many people of faith would think that. Many people maybe not of faith would. But the other side, uh, you might have some in the faith community that would challenge this and say, Jesus loved everybody. God loved everybody. What's your, what's your response to that, to those critics? We love everyone and we serve everyone. And we are here just believing strongly and standing up for the rights of artists to be free to create. And we want that for all artists and all people, no matter what they believe, what they think, who they are. And the point of the case is to let everybody make the decision of what would Jesus do. That's the point of this case. The Constitution gives us that right. Okay, ladies, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank God bless you all. Thank you.